howling of a freight train cracks the night. You awake and realize how long you've been waiting. Hours and days and years dripping away. So many hot shots blasting too quickly past. Until you wondered if one would ever allow you to hop on. As you approach, it pulses with energy. Miles of cars, hundreds of thousands of tons, snaking across the great northern high line. The train is a monster, vicious with its movements, terrifying in its rumbles, craving to pull you under and chew at your guts. The train is a mother, cradling in metal arms, rocking with incessant rhythm, protecting so that nothing can hurt you. Weep before you look, or sense will never let you stop obeying gravity and grab onto this thing's hide. Inertia tries to drag you off, but once you catch up, everything shifts. The landscape becomes a perpetual canvas, unfurling the future as it erases your past. The sky expands, growing so vast that in the darkness, lightning storms battle over one shoulder, while the other horizon is described only by burning clutches of forest. Noises emerge, clacking of tireless wheels, groaning of stressed steel knuckles, squealing of rails beneath swirling in the air until the cacophony becomes a symphony. The sounds conspire into hushed voices. Laughter, screams, and chants ricochet as whispered fragments between cars. And then, the despair of feeling the train stack up and slow to a grinding halt. Never sure how long you'll play hide and seek with the rail yard bulls before the euphoria of the train's jolting start slack snapping taut like falling dominoes with a steady build toward great speeds. Endless days and countless miles. Filthy, hungry, tired, and thirsty on a Burlington Northern. Between these iron rails, reality splinters. Rules disappear. Finally, everything falls away. All that remains is pure velocity. If you make it without being destroyed, this is what you feel like in that moment. An unstoppable force.